see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. The bearer of rods. <laughs> Here's the rod bearer. <laughs> it's like they either work or they don't. Whenever yeah. they don't come out of the truck easily, it's just like you just don't even, I quit. Isn't it fun putting like 10 combos in the passenger seat of your truck just to realize you can't get them out? Welcome back to another vlog, you guys. Devin and I are out here <laughs> about to kayak fish an awesome clear water pond that we've hit once in the past and she actually scooped up a five pounder out of. So we have a good chance of catching a big is all I'm trying to say. This is actually our second video we filmed today. We took these babies out earlier and they're a little dirty. So hopefully we can clean them off in this clear water. Maybe even take them through a little self wash later and spray them down. But uh, yeah, we are lacking on the daylight. It is 7, 12 p.m. Yeah, there was like some thunderstorms earlier. Hopefully the bite is still on. Let's get in the water and see if we can't snag a few bass for you guys. Let's have some fun. So I am currently rigging up a little saucy swimmer. This is clear water and I would say there's like smaller fish in here and this is more of a number spot than a big fish spot but then Devin caught that five and that was only our first visit so there's got to be some bigs in here big or small they'll go after these little swim baits because I believe it imitates the uh, matches the hatch if you will so it looks exactly like a lot of what is swimming in here little bait fish and look at that we are finessed up today this is a 1 8 ounce Wu tungsten weighted belly hook with a 3.3 inch Guggen Saucy Swimmer. I believe this is in a gizzard shad color, something a little bit different that I uh, actually haven't ever thrown this color. And I potentially haven't ever thrown a small Saucy Swimmer on, on a 1 8 ounce hook even. So we'll see how she fares. Probably be best just to throw that on some spinning gear, but uh, all we have is the bait casters tonight. She's got one on her yak, so I think it'll do just fine. Okay guys, here we go, rigged and ready. Let me show you what I've got tied on. I have got back here in the back a weightless option a fluke i can also throw a lunker log on here or as like a sanko so i have got a couple weightless options if i want to really go crazy with it um this is going to be very similar to a jerk bait but in this water the grass comes up pretty high in some areas and i want to be able to cut through that so the uh this will this will work a little bit better than the jerk bait at least in some of the shallower areas where i think these bass will be feeding i've also got a frog i hear white belly frogs are great for clear water black is good for stained water uh, also might just depend on kind of like whether it's overcast or dark etc at night I hear black is oftentimes the better color to throw for those top water and then uh, here we go with that saucy swimmer we were just talking about so you know all about him that's probably going to be what gets the majority of our catches but uh, I could be entirely wrong maybe they're going to love that fluke lunker log etc and then I've got a chatter bait tied on for that bigger meal this thing is looking pretty slick it is uh, one of those expensive ones uh, z-man Jackhammer. Jackhammer. Thanks, babe. Half ounce this guy, so he'll get down deep. And I got a crack and crawl. I got a crack and crawl talk trailer. And uh, yeah, a nice little flimsy rod right here with a soft tip to, uh, you know, do its thing on these moving baits. So, and that's my rig. Devin over here, she's got the spinning combo right there with the Nico rig set up. So she's got a lunker log. And what do we got here? We have a, a frog as well. She's got a, two white swim baits. She's got a big. Citizen 6 swim bait by Working Class Zero, and then one of these new River to Sea. We were just getting some catches on the other day that she'll probably throw for a minute and then switch out for another moving bait of choice if that thing's not getting hits. Let's now get to the water. Here we go. I like this area here. Grass is just a few feet below the surface. I can cruise this chatter bait just a couple feet down and potentially get hits. If they're hanging out in this depth, they might prefer the... Uh, you know, five to 15 foot areas of this pond, and they might not. Let me cast around here, we shall find out. It is extremely shallow right here. This is getting into the grass. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm seeing some bait fish, and the grass is closer to the surface. Going with something lighter weight that's gonna stay right where I want it. Let me just check the swim real quick. <laughs> that's so cool. I had three followers. No way! Devin said she just had three followers on a citizen. Everything wants to check out that big swim bait. I think this little swim bait is gonna get hit pretty quick though. Anything good size? They were both they were all small. Hmm. Where are they hiding at? And what do they want to eat? Oh! Yeah, we can pretty much mark that one as a hit. No tail on my 
Daggum it, there goes my first bite. I wonder if I should throw something different in there just to, just to spice things up. What if he wants a chatterbait back there? Oh, look at that, look at that big old swirl. That was probably a turtle I just scared. Instead of enticing a bite, I might have just ruined it. Big old splash from that half ounce chatterbait. Tough to say, tough to say. All right, they're playing hardball. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I am going for the weightless lunker log. Check that guy out. This is actually a color I've never thrown. Black red flake. So just a little bit darker than that typical watermelon red flake. Uh, I think it's going to stand out and get the job done, boys. Let's uh, cast into the trees here. And then I'm just going to kind of fan cast out deep and see if I can't get lucky. I, I think they're out there hanging out in the uh, cool depths. La, da, 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 da. Did you? Yep. Yep. On the Senko, huh? Yep. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Mid. Wait, am I? Wait. Oh. You lost him, huh? Oh, grass on the hook. She lost him. He was a fish. I felt the head shake. I felt the head shake, she says. I felt the grass shake. <laughs> All right, let's keep throwing these lunker logs. I think real fish are in here, I promise. <laughs> I did, I swear to God it was a fish. And then I had to like stop reeling a couple times because I wasn't sure if the stupid GoPro was recording and it wasn't. So y'all caught the last 36 seconds of that. All right. How's your night going of fishing? Well, I'm catching lots of grass and getting stuck. And whenever I do get a bite, I suck. Got him. That was like a cast or two after Devin said she had hers. <laughs> All right, just working it slow. And good thing is, that's not even half bad. That's a pound and a half. All right, and look, they are hanging out in the grass. Look at how dark this bass is. They are just down there in it. And I believe he's kind of missing this little fin right here. Nope, pop it on up for us, kid. He's got it. There we go. So the black magic is what I'm gonna call this guy right here. She works, black and red flake. First time ever throwing it, and holy cow, it was not getting off this hammer hook. If you guys want to save money on these hammer hooks or the lunker logs or the line I'm using, Hugan Squad line, it's floral carbon, 15 pounds, great recommended for all purpose use. Go ahead and get you some. I am going to get me some pliers. Yeah, you guys can grab everything I just mentioned from Carl's Bait and Tackle. You know it is linked in the description. All right, first one of the night. Yes! Little chunk or two. They ain't skinny out here. They're eating. Let's get some more. There's a fish. Yes. Yeah. Come here, bud. You are not half bad. You stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh. Hey. Hey there. Hey there. All right, we gotta come. There we go. Home skillet has gotten munched on for sure. Look at that. Beat up, boy. My Nico rig setup is actually doing work. All right, guys. First fish on the boat for me. This guy has gotten munched on too. Look at that. Craziness. <laughs> they are fighting in here. This is a fight club pond right now. Anyways, the lunker logs are doing work. Uh, Weston's got his. What are you doing? Uh, I've just got mine weightless. Texas weightless. Range. Cool. This is the first fish in the boat for me. Time check, it's about 8.15. Been out here, I don't know, what, 30, 30 minutes or so? I think we're trying, we're starting to get it figured out. Uh, bite's probably about to pick up. We've probably got another half hour or so of sunlight. Let's get him back in the water and put some moat. bit it right under the kayak. Yep, two tugs. Yeah, I, I two. Oh my god. Oh. Does this thing actually have some weight? Wait, do I even have a fish? Ah, <sighs> dumb. Where's the big bass? Come on, come on. Look at the sunset, man. Someone is speeding off in their turbo diesel out there. We probably got another half hour's worth of light to fish. It's crazy, man, fishing summertime, all these bass, they go out deep in the ponds. If you're in a place like Texas where it's blazing hot, 
they like to find the deep water and you have to find them and it can get intimidating a lot of times we uh like to fish by cover structure we want to find the grass you find the bass so where it's thick you hit those grass edges you're usually gonna get lucky right that's where they're hanging out you hit these trees you're gonna get lucky um, now for us what we have found is they are down deep and you just got to find out where they're hanging out and usually you can get on a school of them oh there goes a bite right there yep something's hitting it something's hitting it it's little it's not biting it this is pathetic okay i'm gonna let that chill continue on with the pointers they're out deep y'all there's some weight uh nope he let it go uh <laughs> Summertime, they're out deep. You gotta get out of your comfort zone is all I'm saying, man. Try and hit some of those deeper pockets in your ponds because they're not just gonna be in the usual places all day long. If you can get out at sunrise and sunset, you're gonna smack them on the bank summertime. Top water's gonna be a fantastic option. Um, I see a kid over here on the bank that's now joined in and uh, he's gonna have no problem, but they're out deep during the summer. I'll tell you what, there we go. All right, y'all, as I filmed that release and I'm now re-rigging my lunker log, I have drifted a little bit and I'm not sure exactly where that fish bit at. So I'm just going to, again, fan cast out here in the middle of nothingness, right? And see if we can't get on another bite out here. Give you all a nice view of the sunset. There we go. Got him. That's two, two in a row. Oh, golly. Two casts back to back. All right. Yes, look at that hook set right there on the top of the mouth. Lunker log doing big things out here. Oh man, we are feeling good, boys. Get you a pack of worms for 30% off with that link and have you a good old time out here during the sunset. Let me break those things out for y'all once again. Look at that pure passion, man. Loving it. Get a little slow-mo release for y'all and we're in business. All right. Let's get it, man. Can I get a subscribe for that release? Notifications for the slow-mo. Let's go. The amount of followers that you get with these bigger baits is absolutely insane. Honestly, the fish though that are following it are not much bigger than this bait, but it's really cool to just see the interest that they show in them. Yes! Oh, he came off! Oh, dang! Now's the time. Oh, oh dang! I missed mine too. Dang, Devin and I both just missed fish. Hers was a good one though, because it hit the citizen. Mine could have been anything. Look at the weather over here. This is nuts. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Don't shade, that's a no, 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 no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in the car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, I get the bus. Get in the boat. Pick it up, pick it up. Come on. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. That'll do it, folks. That's a good one. Oh yeah, sharp teeth. Oh, sharp teeth. Wow, how are you doing? On that lunker log right at sunset, man. Thank you for playing. Whoo, feels good. He's got a couple of those black dots. He's in good health, man. These guys are little fatties. Yes. Y'all, we made it back to the house. Barely. I mean, it got crazy. Rain started coming in and we had to split. Devin and I loaded up so fast on our way back home. Stop lights were out. I mean, now we're hearing just sirens around our house. It got crazy. But nonetheless, we made it home safe and sound. If you guys have made it to this point, made it to the end of the video, go ahead and drop a like. I hear that's good for people always say the algorithm. I just know like if your video has more thumbs up, 
then I think it helps YouTube push those video out to like new people who have maybe never seen your channel before, like people who aren't subscribed like you guys are. And so that's gonna be a huge help for us. Devin and I wanna take this thing full time and with y'all's help, we are getting closer and closer, man. What that means is you guys are gonna see more extravagant videos. We're gonna be able to accomplish more. And uh, yeah, really just keep the train rolling, man. One video a day. Let's do this thing. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Boom.